What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. We back at it again with another video, and today we are looking at one of the gems from my childhood. This show was very influential to me and to uh, millions of other people around the world, especially me being a young black man in my formative years coming up, seeing a, a show that promoted, you know, positive black role models in a positive black family and a wealthy one at that. You know, you didn't really see that on TV, you know, too much back then. There was a group of shows that were coming out, but you didn't really see, like, wealthy black people. You saw, you know, well-off, educated, good job having black people, but a, a family of wealthy black people that were also immensely conscious of what was going on around them and defeat in, and they, they, they defeated various cases of racial injustice and things of that nature. Real big for me coming up in the formative years, especially with a guy like Will Smith, you know, not only did he influence me as a person, as a businessman, but just, you know, from a fashion standpoint too. Like I, I try to I try to dress like that too. My phone talking, hold on. My phone talking, be quiet. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, just very highly influential show to me and uh many other people out there. Um so they posted a picture of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air cast. The entire cast like a few months ago and now here's a trailer for it because they're going to do like a reunion show it'll probably be a one-off i'm not expecting a whole series or whatever i'll be happy for a one-off like a christmas one-off or new year one-off but um here we go let's uh get into this trailer you probably seen the picture me with the whole yeah we saw the picture will you probably let me turn it up a little bit i posted it uh, uh, about a month ago me and the whole fresh prince cast yep that that's the picture i'm talking about you couldn't be ready for this i, I know i'm not Happy show it yes you're welcome will thank let's you, get it you're welcome. thank you will yes you're welcome will and it's going to be on hbo max nice so is aunt viv going to meet aunt viv how crazy is it i hope so my son Carlton out came out the cut. Let's go. I've always been able to recognize chemistry. Nice. And Alfonso from the very beginning. We're just playmates. That's that's a dynamic duo right there. He knows we can't afford any bigger flows, so he just A very underrated comedy duo on TV. Like this joke. He said you could. <laughs> you stupid. DJ Jazzy Jeff, respect to that man. Legendary producer. Will is very good at talking me into Help Will in his community, his music career. Oh, we want you to audition for this new sitcom with a rapper. I said, oh, pass. Tape night was special. It was just kind of like a Friday night party. Yeah, it was lit in the studio. Lit in the studio. Like, I, like, I missed that. Like, it's never going to be the same. Like, I know they still do stuff like this now, but it'll never be the same. Performing sitcoms from a live studio audience. R.I.P. James Avery. God bless that man. He was everybody's father. Uncle Phil was everybody, Uncle Phil, everybody's father. Emotional moment right there. Really emotional moment. And he's holding me, and the shot pans off, and he whispered in my ear, now that's acting. I didn't realize how many people we were reaching. There will always be a piece of all of us in that living room. Our show meant black excellence. To people, right, black excellence, excellence exactly. That we loved each other. I couldn't celebrate 30 years of Fresh Prince without Janet. Hey, they brought in Black and Viv. Let's get it. So Black and Viv gets to see, you know, gets her due because when they changed on Viv out of nowhere, I was mad as a you kid because, like, that lady... Okay? Dream she thing. reminded me of my mother, like very stern, but very loving and soft and caring as well. And like when they took her off the show, I was like, oh man, light skin Viv, she did her thing, but it, you know, the original Viv, dark skin Viv, like she, she really, like you see me smile right now, like she, like she was just a great, you know, role model, much, much like all the other characters as well. But yeah, that was, um, that was a trailer. Um, I don't, did we get to see if, um, if there was a release date? I'm over here just fanboying over this thing, and I don't even know if, uh, if they, uh, show the, uh, 
release date for it. Now we got to wait for this ad to end. I've never had an 11 second ad. Now when I want to record a video, they want to give me an 11 second ad. That's crazy. Did they give a release date? November 19th. So, ha, ironically, the day Cyberpunk was supposed to come out. So, <laughs> this is not a gaming video, but I still uh, mentioned some game. I still got some gaming in on there. So, that's actually next Thursday that that comes out. So, um, let me actually put a reminder for that. But, yeah. But yeah, so I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you know about this show, but even if you didn't really watch it, you just heard about it, I suggest you watch it just to get a perspective on how great TV was back in the 90s. You know, especially for you Gen Zers who may have been too young to remember something like this um, or maybe didn't watch any reruns as you grew up. Like, definitely watch this and tune in and see how a real well put together TV show in a. Uh, a very compatible cast um, performs. So that was it. I know this is kind of out the wheelhouse. It's not gaming related, but I'm trying to, you know, try different stuff. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't cover something like this, because again, this was a part of a part of me, like I, a part of this show was a part of my childhood and a part of, you know, what made me the man I am today. So I had to cover it. So you already know the vibes. You guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is your boy Justice Falls. We out. One.